to switch gears here for a second. Uh, the reason you're tired, uh, I can hear it in your voice. Uh, it just uh, it was about 5 a.m. according to your Twitter feed. You finished up a marathon 19-hour transportation committee meeting. I had no clue these meetings would go this long, but here's just a snippet of uh, some points you were making there. We've got to start making some smart choices, Mr. Chairman, and and how our, our, all of our tax dollars are spent. I don't feel like this is a, a smart use of our tax dollars. We've got to start prioritizing infrastructure spending where it's most needed, and that's to build our roads and bridges and waterways to ensure some long-term um, economic success. And I urge my colleagues to join me in support of this common sense amendment. So, I mean, we know the initial offer from Democrats, it was like less than 10% was going to infrastructure of something like $2 trillion. It seems like these bipartisan 5%. bills, or yeah, even 5%, depending on how you define it. But these, these newer bills that the president is about to negotiate on with these bipartisan groups in the Senate and the House, looks like at least that percentage and the amount of money that would actually go to traditional infrastructure, that, that's growing dramatically, right? Yeah, well, 95% probably goes to all the woke causes, the, the Green New Deal things. Um, interestingly enough, they stopped every every dadgum amendment that Republicans have, I believe. I had one of just a technical correction, um, and that was agreed to, that everybody even, they'd said on the House floor they'd made a mistake a couple of years ago. They killed it for some bogus reason. We had one, um, Stauber, uh, out, of, out of Minnesota, a Republican, he had an amendment to stop them um, from using the, um, from the Congo where they, uh, they use child labor and um, uh, mining cobalt to stop them from that. All oh, the chairman, he raised canes and all oh, this is, this is brought by the, the oil industry to stop all this. You know, that's a bunch of garbage, man. I'm, these guys need to go back to their Sunday school classes if they ever went to one and learn about the scripture. It talks about how you treat the least amongst us. I mean, they, these guys and gals, they, they just, they just lie. And then, um, and then, and then they walk away from it wow. and nobody, you all are the only ones questioning it. It's ridiculous. We're doing we're in bed so far with China. I don't know how we're going to get out. They, they, they have cut cut deals for them, set asides throughout this whole thing. The amendments were just ridiculous, wow. and um, uh, they wouldn't allow our common sense ones to be even considered. And it's it's, it's the amazing. American public needs to be outraged. And I hope the Senate. They're claiming they've cut some deal, uh, but if they cut a deal with them, they're doing business with the devil, as far as I'm concerned. Well, we'll, Literally. See, we'll see how it turns out. You know, when the president gets back, we're going to learn a lot more about this. The negotiation should uh, hopefully continue. And, and I do think there is some kind of progress being made. I think that it is a bipartisan idea if you can get a bill that actually does infrastructure. We'll see if we can. Tennessee Congressman Tim Burchett, sir, thank you so much for coming on. Good to see you. Rob, it's always a pleasure, brother. Next time I'm going to be dressed like you, my wife's getting ready to give me grief for it. So I know it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Whatever the thank wife you, says, that's what you got to do. I get it.